Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are here to see the 3D engraving. I already have uh, the panel with my geometries. In this case is a uh, text on path. If you are not sure how to get to this point, there is a video already in regards of the text in the CAD playlist. You can find it there. And uh, let me also say that in case we want to use the 3D engraving, which by the way is not part of the basic uh, B-Solid, it's uh, an additional module, you will have to use it with the V-Bit. And also for that there is a video actually in the playlist requested videos that shows you how to create properly a V-Bit. With that being said, Let's start immediately. It's going to be just a couple of things because we just have a few parameters here for the 3D engraving. Let's disable for now execute pocketing. We will see it later. First thing we have to do is select the geometry on which we want the 3D engraving. So in this case you can select it directly from uh, the working area or the, uh, here in the list of geometry on the right panel so select next it will be selecting the tool in this case i only have a v-bit and specify the working depth keeping in consideration that my panel is 19.2 millimeters thick i can even go 19 because look what is going to happen, calculate. So it will not go 19 millimeter deep and let's look it from the front view so we can see it better. You see 19 it would be here almost at the end of the panel. In this case it's stopping the depth here just because this machine knows that in order to not damage my text whenever the tool is touching both sides of the geometry it cannot go more than that because otherwise it will damage the text that is the reason why it will stop earlier and you will be able to do this in one shot. So let's play the simulation. So pretty easy. And in every corner you will get the 3D effect. So like here the tool will go up in an angle, you know, interpolating X, Y, and Z to clean the corner, and it will do that on every single corner. Don't be worried about uh, this uh, graphic uh, effect. Uh, uh, like I said, it's just graphic. You will get uh, a really clean cut. And if you want to actually improve uh, a little bit uh, the graphic, here you can uh, increase uh, the simulation qu quality. It will get a little bit slower, but it will be better. Anyway, I'm not really worried about that, so let's stop, close. And now I show you why I have used the 19 millimeter. Uh, deep in depth even though the tool does not go 19 millimeter just because I wanted to do this in only one pass because if I go less let's say I want to go 2 millimeter only calculate let's see what we will get So 
so the tool will still go up on each corner and clean the corners interpolating x y and z to give the 3d effect but it will leave like an island where the tool uh, of course uh, forced uh, uh, at a certain depth cannot uh, touch both the geometries so it will leave this as an island if this is what you want it's fine otherwise like i said you can uh, exaggerate because anyway uh, it will do what uh, it can or the other option is to enable the pocketing of course in this case if we look at the tool there is a flattened spot of about 1 16th so a millimeter or so And for that reason, the software is suggesting as a distance between each pass, the radius. So, half of the smallest diameter. We can calculate. And in this case, you will pocket out all the rest and leave the 3D effect on the perimeter only. Play the simulation it will take a while because uh, it's a really small a really tiny diameter but this is what you will get All right, can stop, let's go in the advanced tab, here I would leave everything by default and then eventually we will uh, talk about uh, the other parameters uh, in the advanced training, but uh, for now what you can do here is uh, changing the dust hood step. So normally if you leave it at zero, in case you have the pneumatic dust hood, it should go at a certain depth considering the length of the tool for a three-axis uh, electro spindle, so for a three-axis machine. In case of a five-axis, you always have to specify the dust hood position because uh, the machine uh, doesn't know if you are working horizontally or vertically or in an angle and you know it, there are a lot of things that have to be considered so that's the reason why it's left to the operator and in case you have the motorized you can set a specific distance from the top of your part and in this case the machine will stay like I mean if I specify two it will stay two millimeter above the top of the panel so this is it for the 3d engraving I hope this can be helpful for you next time we will see the pocketing and so stay tuned